de pour droite 130 à fond qui ouvre aux 120 mètres. Pour droite 140 à fond, zone gris. Et si elle fera 40 mètres, droite 140 moins moins mini. Si elle fera 40 mètres, droite 140 moins moins mini. 70 mètres frein, coche 120. Coche 120 sur droite 120 moins tard, pas corde. Droite 120 moins tard, pas corde. Pour coche en 30 à fond, pas corde. 70 mètres, coche 128 mini. 128 mini, 150 mètres. Si elle a fond face. 100 mètres, frein gauche 138, gros rail, 138, gros rail, 60 mètres, droite 140 à fond. Et 100 mètres, gauche 140 à voir, gauche 140 à voir, 80 mètres, frein droite 120 plus, pas corps de gravier, droite 120 plus, pas corps de gravier, 200 mètres, frein droite 136, plus, plus long, 136, plus, plus long qui ferme léger de passe, 70 mètres, droite 140 à fond, 100 mètres, attention Droite 139, très vite, très long, ferme léger en gros frein 40 mètres, gauche 108 millions cordes, salle inter, 108 millions cordes, salle inter, qui ouvre. Et zone glisse pour droite 118, pas corde, droite 118, pas corde, 40 mètres, droite 120 plus humide, droite 120 plus humide, glisse pour humide, gauche 140 à fond, pas corde, 100 mètres, gauche 130 plus, plus millon, glisse humide. Sur frein 40 mètres, gauche 130 plus corde, 70 mètres, frein gauche 100 moins, 100 moins millon par corde. Sur droite 110 plus mini gravier, 110 plus mini gravier, 200 mètres. Léger gauche 150 millions en ciel et 80 mètres frein gravier, droite 138 pas corde. Pour gauche en 40 à fond corde 100 mètres et de droite 40 pas corde. 70 mètres. Gauche 120 très vite millions tard, gauche 120 très vite millions tard, 200 mètres. Droite 140, pas corde. Et 100 mètres frein, coche 120, bon pas corde. 120, bon pas corde sur frein 40 mètres, droite 110 plus millions, pas corde. Droite 110 plus millions, pas corde. Pour droite 120 millions, tapis gravier, 120 millions, tapis gravier. 50 mètres, gauche 130 millions. Gauche 130 millions qui ouvre. 70 mètres, gauche 130 plus plus millions, 100 mètres. Gauche 130 bombes, pas corps de trace, 130 bombes, pas corps de trace et frein 50 mètres, droite 108, long tard gravier, droite 108, long tard gravier, qui ouvre, 100 mètres, gauche 120, plus plus long, pas corps de gravette, 100, plus plus long, pas corps de gravette, qui ouvre, 100 mètres. Gauche 80 plus, pas corps de poussière. 100 mètres. Droite 146. Pour droite 130 plus, pas corde. 120 mètres. Léger de gauche 158 freins. Pour gauche 110 pouces, millions de corps de gravier. 110 pouces, millions de corps de gravier qui ouvre un fond. 
120 mètres. Droit de 138 millions, pas corde. Droit de 138 millions, pas corde. Qui ouvre 120 mètres. Gauche 130 plus mi-corde de gros rail. Et frein 60 mètres. Droit de 120 plus millions de traces. 120 plus millions de traces, 100 mètres. Gauche 128 millions. Gauche 128 millions. Et gauche corde. 80 mètres, droite 144 freins pour droite 128 long pas corde. Sans il pas corde qui ouvre un fond. 70 mètres gauche à fond, pas corde. 80 mètres freins avant droite 132 gravette. Ferme 110 plus millions, pas corde de gravier. 110 plus millions, pas corde de gravier. Pour gauche 128, pas corde. 128 pas corde sur droite à fond, pas corde. 120 mètres. Droite 132 vite, pas corde de millions. Qui ouvre en gros frein 70 mètres, gauche en bas moins pas corde de rail. 120 moins pas corde de rail. Pour droite 120 vite, bref, droite 120 bref. 100 mètres. Droite 133, corde juste frein. 133, corde juste frein. Pour gauche 120 vite, millions, pas corde. 120 mètres, gauche sur un gros frein gris, 70 mètres. Épingle gauche 50. Moins 7, il revaut. Et droite à fond. 100 mètres, droite 140 à fond de corde, 150 mètres, droite 150, pour coche 150 rasé, et droite 146, pas corps de frein, pour coche en 20 par mini. Et droite à fond, 80 mètres, droite 144 plus tard, pour droite 138 corde, droite 138 corde sur un frein 40 mètres, gauche en 30, moins millions corde après, 130 moins millions corde après, et gauche à fond de 100 mètres. Frein droite 143, ferme 120 vite long tard. 120 mètres long tard qui ouvre 120 mètres à droite 140 à fond corde revêt moins 80 mètres gauche 140 à fond corde pas corde et 80 mètres piège fin droite 120 mini très glisse 120 mini très glisse 150 mètres et je gauche 155 pour gauche 140 plus corde et 50 mètres attention frein avant gauche 132 qui ferme 120 plus millions corps de trace un plus millions corps de trace 70 mètres gros frein droite 100 moins millions pas corde 100 moins Millions pas corde et droite 120 moins Milan 70 mètres gauche 180 mètres derrière gros frein épingle gauche 40 pas corde sale et 3 sorties plus 5.4 Peter et droite 120 plus corde pour 40 mètres droite 120 plus plus et 3 pas extérieur et droite 143 moins jet pour droite 130 mini gris 100 mètres gauche 120 moins long pas corde 120 moins long pas corde qui ouvre à fond trace 100 mètres, droite 130 à fond par pas corde, 130 à fond par pas corde, 120 mètres derrière, droite 140 à fond et 100 mètres léger si elle sera face, 120 mètres gros frein, épingle droite 50 plus pas corde, 120 mètres gros frein, épingle droite 50 plus pas corde, 40 mètres, à gauche 120 millions, pas corde de tenir trace, à gauche 120 millions, pas corde de tenir trace, 120 mètres, droite 120 millions, mini rail, 120 millions, mini rail, 50 mètres frein, Gauche 90 millions, pas corps de rail sale. Gauche 90 millions, pas corps de rail sale. 70 mètres. Droite 110 bon millions, par pas corde. Droite 110 bon millions, par pas corde. 50 mètres gauche humide. Et ciel sur gauche en 40 à fond. Pour droite 140 à fond, mi-corde. 70 mètres frein. Gauche en 40 moins. Pour gauche en 53, comme 130 plus, pour un gros frein avant ciel sale. 30 mètres, droite 110 moins, pas de rail. 110 moins, pas de rail, 80 mètres. Gauche droite, il glisse, gauche droite, il glisse. 80 mètres humide, gauche, il frein sur droite 138, pas corde. 100 mètres, droite, il, 70 mètres frein, droite 138. 100 mètres, gauche, il, pas corde, sur droite 140, un fond, millon, et piège. 100 mètres, attention, frein avant gauche en 30 moins, pas corde. Pour droite 128, pas corde. 120 pas corde pour gauche 135 moins long qui ferme 120 plus pas corde ferme 120 plus pas corde et attention 60 mètres frein gauche sans bon glisse gauche sans bon glisse pour humide droite 120 plus long droite 120 plus long qui ouvre léger 80 mètres gauche à fond et si elle passe 160 mètres 160 mètres attention droite 155 ferme 145 gros frein glisse pour droite 120 moins corde 60 mètres frein, gauche en 10, moins mi corps de salle, gauche en 10, moins mi corps de salle. Et 120 mètres, droite 130, plus, plus, millions, pas corde à voir. Pour gauche en 40, millions à fond. 80 mètres, droite I sur un gauche I. Et léger frein de gauche 6, moins face, 70 mètres frein, gauche en 10, millions mini. 
pour droite 110 pour pas corps d'avoir. 50 mètres, droite 120, vite mille encore de rail. 120 vite mille encore de rail qui ouvre. 150 mètres ciel sur attention. Gauche 153 frein pour droite 130 plus plus mini. Dessus de gros frein tôt 40 mètres avant gauche 130 de plonge pour gauche 70. 80 mètres droite 150 de frein en ciel pour droite 120 vite pas corde. 120 mètres gauche 130 vite corde après. Et léger gauchis pour un gros frein 60 mètres droite 110 points pas corde 110 points. Pour attention, droite 130 plus et 3 cordes sur gris, gauche 120 vite. Gauche 120 vite, 50 mètres gauchis. Et attention, 80 mètres au frein pour gauche droite 154, plonge en ciel pour droite 120 moins corps de rail. 30 mètres gauche 110.
OK, let's turn our attention to the WRC Academy now and the man who's had a great day today, Craig Breen. Well done, Craig. Uh, presumably you are delighted with the way it's gone, leading the rally. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we started relatively slowly this morning and uh, picked the pace up from there. Uh, you know, no big risks. It's, it's a really a red letter day. Um, unfortunately, you know, I have to look at it this way. Aegon has, uh, has fell into difficulty um, and really handed us, not handed us, but has given us a, a good opportunity at the championship again. So uh, we really need to push tomorrow and, and try and get more faster stage times. We've got six today uh, and a, a healthy lead. So. Yeah, perfect. What were your expectations coming into this rally? Because, of course, you have already won on tarmac in Germany, so uh, confidence presumably was relatively high. Yeah, for sure. You know, this uh, this event is it's not as specialist as as, uh, as Germany. You know, Germany was very very specialised, but this is this is proper tarmac rallying. Uh, really, really committed stuff. Quite similar to some things I've done in Czech Republic. You know, it's. Uh, very similar to that, so it's it's been uh, it's been difficult to, to find a good pace. Uh, you know, it took a stage or two, but since then we've uh, we've never really looked back. We had a puncture on the second stage of the service, but again we only dropped maybe 12 or 13 seconds, and we had it for six, seven k. So uh, yeah, re really good day. You only dropped 12 seconds or so with a puncture, so you've got the uh, the change cracked, obviously. Yeah, well, we did, we did. It was about seven k from the end, so we just drove on. But I'm okay. telling you now, it was fairly hairy, fairly hairy driving because it was all downhill quite fast. So we tried to lose as little, as little time as possible, uh, but it was it was a little bit hairy. Now I can tell you. <laughs> I've got you. Just limped through. Yeah. Tell us about the the posts. We've we've heard about those uh, earlier today to to avoid the cuts there. How, if at all, does that uh, affect you guys in the academy? Um, it's just a case of hit and miss. You know, some some of them are there and and some of them are not, and, and it's trying to predict as soon as you can whether they're there or not. Uh, Usually speaking, you can see that you can see as you're approaching the corner. If the corner is quite dirty, it means the pole is gone, and you can kind of commit to the cut. But like it, it just changes the whole character of the corner, and it can change the whole character of a stage if the poles are removed. And you know, some places it's it's under the trees you can't see, and you just have to kind of go for it and say, mm, I'm hoping it's not there. And so far, it's uh, it's worked. So it's a new it's a new challenge. Okay, it's it's worked to some extent, but uh, you know, yeah, difficult. Are you more comfortable on tarmac than gravel? Yeah, I'd, I'd say more comfortable. I think it, it, it's, it's treated me kinder. Uh, I won't say that I'm more comfortable. Um, you know, I think every surface I go on, usually I can kind of find my feet, but for some reason, the last couple of rallies in tarmac, it's, it's all gone well. I'm sure that the, the years in karting has helped, you know, getting the lines right, especially here. The roads are a lot, lot wider, and it's more about using, your, using the big, uh, big round thing in between your two ears and, you know, just, just listen to your notes. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's fair for me for now. We touched on that before we, we went live, your, your karting experience, but that, uh, that switch from, from the black stuff, a lot of young drivers attempt to go into single-seaters. You've gone into rallying. How, how much of a quantum leap in, in terms of driving style is that? It's it's chalk and cheese. You know, people tell me, oh well, you know, you can bring a carton across. There is some very small aspects of it that I can bring across. You know, the whole the theory behind your lines and you know trying to carry as much speed as you can. That's more back from sort of cadet driving when I was younger. You know, carrying lots of speed because you don't have the torque to pull your own, especially on uphill stuff. Um, so yeah, it was it really was a leap. Uh, you know, it was just completely different, especially you know, been in such a controlled environment. You know, like doing the British Championships, and then all of a sudden you're in Finland. You know, doing 110, 120 miles an hour in, in the in the woodlands. You know, it's it's just completely different. Enjoyable though, I can sense. I can tell you're really enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's a it's a tremendous feeling, especially when you have a day like today. Uh, you know, it just makes it all that more worthwhile. But. You need to keep uh, keep the feet on the ground and keep your head down, and uh, hopefully it all all pays off. Wise words, but with something like 25 seconds uh, advantage going into the second day, what's what's your philosophy? What's your tactic tomorrow? Um, we still need the push uh, in the academy. We get it. We get a point for every time we win a stage. So uh, we're, we're 26 points behind the leader Egon Kerr, who's who stopped earlier on today. So. It's now we really need to make it uh, make it the, the advantage of him not being there and, and get as many stages and stage wins as we can. So, you know, whereas the other guys don't really have to worry about stage wins, uh, for for me, not only do I have to win the rally, but I have to I have to win as many stages as possible. So, it's a difficult position. But today we've we've won six stages. Uh, obviously, won with a puncture, and the other stage was the first one this morning where we just dropped a bit of time. So, hopefully, we can uh, we can pull it off again tomorrow. And they're all great. Victories are, are very important, but this one particularly in the context of the championship, how much would this mean? Everything. Uh, you know, given the, the status of the event uh, and the competition, and uh, you know, I, th I think the, the margin of stages that we had, I think if we could, if we can pull it off, fingers crossed, it'll be uh, it'll be quite a big thing for me for sure. Good luck. Have a great day. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. For Thank you. Thanks.
Well, a busy time here in the SWRC uh, paddock right now, uh, or service area, I should say, ahead of uh, Park Fermi. Um, championship leader, Johan Hanahan, not had a very good day today. Tell us what's happened. Oh, on the long one, long one this morning, first time, and uh, just very close on to halfway, I had a puncture. These steel, steel, uh, how you say, pilots, what they are putting in the inside of the corners, went through the pumper and straight to the tire and immediately flat. So uh, I had to change it over there and uh, lost two minutes. And... Oh, bad luck. You don't seem to have a lot of luck on, on tarmac. Is that is that a fair comment? <laughs> uh, not almost fair, I would say. <laughs> uh, it's sometimes it's difficult, then it can be difficult. Well, it was frustrating, I have to say, of course, because uh, it's quite bad luck that it was just showing ag against opposite when I came. So, but. Uh, this can happen and this is part of the rally let's say like this yeah, well, it certainly is but uh, what could this mean for your championship chances no it won't make, make it any easier but still it's a long way to go this rally and one rally still to go so uh, tomorrow I try to catch the boys and get the second second best points it would be it would be after everything after punks are great but still a long way to go to the finish you, you fancy you've still got a chance of, of getting in there and getting some good points no, I will try definitely I will try so what is the philosophy tomorrow attack 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 Yes, and stay on the road and keep tires. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, I, I try to go, go quite well tomorrow. What is it like? What's this, this rally like oh. for you to drive? It's nice. I like the roads. I like the, it's the organizers. They had a good idea with these with these piles avoid cutting, but uh, it didn't went maybe uh, how, how they planned. But uh, all together, nice nice, ro nice roads, nice rally. Okay, well, hopefully you will have a little bit better luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Well, delighted to say I've managed to catch up with Phil Short, who's the uh, WRC Academy coordinator. Uh, Phil, we heard a few moments ago from young Craig Breen, who's had a br brilliant day here today. But uh, before we reflect on the events here in France, just, just uh, for the benefit of the uninitiated, give us a, a background to the philosophy of this, this new series, the WRC Academy. Well, the whole idea is to get young people into the WRC earlier and cheaper. And this is a very good package, not just the professional pre preparation of the car uh, and a nice six event program but also we do a lot of training the sort of stuff that really they couldn't get anywhere else it, it's a great package it's proved very popular and we're hoping next year it'll be even more popular you said it's proved very popular in this the first year a little bit more detail on that i mean how, how many drivers you've got and, and what have you seen so far this season well here we're we're running 16 cars uh and uh Earlier in the year we had a, a couple more, but they've dropped out for one reason or another. Uh, but we have some, shall we say, temporary replacements who have been very keen to jump in. So the, the interest has been maintained and we've had a very good battle, uh, as you can see today here. Uh, there's a really tight scrap at the top, but all the other places further down are, are being fought hard. Uh, it, it's a really good competition. OK, so we have, let's say, for instance, youngsters watching this on wrc.com who who might fancy uh, a crack at uh, getting into running what is it that you can offer is in terms of uh, a budget and the whole kind of entry level to come into a, a fantastic sport like this okay well next year's budgets aren't settled yet but this year the budget for the six event program is i think 113,000 pounds now that includes the car in other words you turn up and you drive all the costs of running the car on the event are covered, the entry fees, the service, the fuel, the tyres, everything. Uh, you've still got to get here, uh, you've still got to do your recce, uh, but once the rally starts, uh, all the costs uh, are stood by the team, apart from obviously uh, uh, damages beyond a certain figure, uh, the crews are responsible for that. Uh, but uh, to go World Championship rallying, that, that is quite a good price and uh, may sound a lot of money but if you can put together um, a bit of sponsorship a bit of help from your uh, uh, local motor club and ASN uh, which is quite what quite a lot of these guys have done uh, then you can go world championship rallying and show the world what you can do and what sort of ages typically are we talking about uh, the age limit is 25 uh, but with guys uh, who are still at college 18 19 20 year old guys uh, and some guys just a little bit older, but still uh, quite young and inexperienced. So it, it's quite a level playing field, in fact. I think before this event, we had 11 crews who were averaging less than a second per kilometre slower than the very fastest. So, it, so it's a really good competition. And, and would you recommend it to, to youngsters who perhaps have never done rallying before? They might be karting, of course, or a little bit of entry-level single-seater. Is, is it easy to make the jump? It is. I mean, it's a big step up from your national championship or whatever form of motorsport you're doing, and that's why we offer a good training package as well to teach the guys about all aspects of, of going rallying at this level. Uh, but, you know, we don't dispute the fact that it is a big step up. We do all we can to, to help them up that step, um, but uh, it is a great way of, of breaking into the sport. And the quality and calibre of, uh, of the young drivers we've seen this year well fantastic I mean, if you look at this event just as an example um, Craig Breen's lying 24th overall in, in a little R2 Fiesta which is absolutely brilliant uh, Lemmers is one place behind him I think with four or five cars in the top 30 overall so you know the car certainly isn't slow and uh, it gives these guys a chance to show team managers like Malcolm Wilson uh, e exactly how good they are when he's looking for drivers of the future and that, of course, is what it's all about. So hopefully, somewhere here in the service park, we might just have one, two, who knows, stars of the future. Yeah, I'm sure amongst uh, our, our group of guys that we've got here, there is a potential world champion. I've no doubt about it. Well, time will tell. Thank you very much for talking to us, and uh, good luck. OK, thank you. That do you? Brilliant. OK.
David, it is Danny Sordo in the lead at the end of day one. What a fantastic day it's been for you. No, it's been an amazing day. The whole team really deserve a big pat on the back, and Danny especially, but Chris has done a good job as well. Now, talk me through the day itself. I mean, Danny, as you said, done a great job. Chris as well, but Danny's really been on pace. He did well here last year. Did you expect he would be in podium position? I think we, we always knew he'd be fighting at the front, you know. Things fell in our favor. He's driven exceptionally well, and uh, as you can imagine, he's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> it was on the final stage this afternoon where he took that lead. Excellent pace from him there. What was the reaction back at the team? Uh, they just, you know, if the roof could have come off the, the motorhome, it would have done. <laughs> now, uh, it's, it's early days in the rally. We've got another two days to go, of course. Is it too early to start dreaming of a mini victory? We take one step at a time. We've, on our fourth rally with a brand new car, we started off sensibly, we've moved forward every time. We've made great progress and you know, all credit to the guys who've built the cars and done all the work back at base at Manbury. Because, uh, but we'll take one day at a time and we'll pat ourselves on the back today and we'll start tomorrow morning fighting again. Have we seen any major changes since Germany with the car? No, unfortunately not. We haven't made a, a lot of progress. We've made one day of testing but since Germany. and. Um, uh, but we know where we can get more pace from the car before next year. What about Chris Meek, though? He's in fourth position at the moment. Can we see him on the podium? Well, Chris, is, you know, Chris hasn't got a lot of experience at this event. Um, not like, uh, obviously, Danny and the others. So he's got to be more prudent and more sensible. And uh, we'll just be telling him to drive at his own pace tomorrow, see what happens around him. There's still a long way to go. OK, David, thank you very much. Olivia Cannell, let's turn to you now huge disappointment today for Sebastian Loeb. On the third stage this morning, we saw the car stop. What exactly happened? It's uh, an engine problem. But uh, what exactly, I can't tell you because I don't know yet. So um, the car is back to the office for investigation. For investigation and um, I hope we will know very soon what happened to the car. But uh, I'm disappointed for everybody and for Loeb and for Citroën, but uh, it could happen, and this is it. What does it mean now in terms of the driver's title for Loeb, for Sebastian Ogier? With Ogier at the moment in podium position, his championship is now open again. Yeah, but uh, before speaking about the championship, we ha I would like to finish the rally with Ogier. I hope he will be back at the lead, so he has to. And it won't be easy because Danny, we know Danny is very fast. The Mini seems uh, very quick. And uh, so it will be a big battle tomorrow. And then we will see. But uh, that if Ogier is back to the, to the championship, that means tomorrow on Sunday will be leading and he will win. Otherwise, it will be complicated. So we will see. If, for instance, Ogier took a win away from France, would he be allowed to battle for the driver's title, Olivier? But anyway, everybody speak to me about Ogier and Loeb, but everybody forgot uh, Mikko Evonen and Ford. And for myself, my problem is to beat Mikko Evonen and Ford. So my two objective is to get both championship, manufacturer championship and driver championship. And I can tell you officially, the leader of the team is Loeb. Okay, en français, s'il vous plaît. Uh, what was the first question? <laughs> I don't remember. Tell us. No, uh, voilà, bonjour à tous, bonsoir. Donc, voilà, Sébastien, effectivement, dans la spéciale numéro 3, a eu un problème moteur. Malheureusement, uh, c'est la première fois que ça arrive depuis 2005. Et, uh, mais malheureusement, on sait que ça peut arriver dans les sports mécaniques. C'était le seul rallye où il ne fallait pas que ça arrive. C'était la seule voiture sur laquelle il ne fallait pas que ça arrive. Malheureusement, c'est arrivé et sur Sébastien Loeb. Donc, je suis désolé, puisqu'en plus, il ne repart pas en super rallye. Donc, euh, ça devait être une grande fête, un grand spectacle. Et voilà, et on, a, on va vous décevoir un petit peu. Mais il reste Sébastien Auger, Peter Solberg, il reste des Citroën. Une grosse bataille avec Mini et Danny Sordo, qui est très rapide. Et donc, j'espère que malgré tout, on offrira un grand spectacle jusqu'à dimanche. Merci beaucoup, Olivier. Let's turn to Malcolm Wilson now. Malcolm, neither Ford driver, <laughs> neither Ford 
driver is in podium position. Oh, if you could do it in French as well, that'd be great. Neither four driver is in podium position at the moment. It went a little bit wrong this morning on stage three for your guys. How are you feeling about it all? Yeah, you can imagine. I mean, uh, there was even more light at the end of the tunnel, unfortunately, what happened to Sebastian. But um, both, well, first of all, Miko made a, a very uncharacteristic mistake. Um, certainly out of his character and uh, obviously that took him out of the real fight um, and then obviously at that point Yari was in a very strong position um, I think you know these times today have been fantastic uh, and then he got caught out on some some gravel lost a minute and a half so um, it really has taken us out of that fight because it's an incredibly close fight at the top it's taken us out of that but um, both guys are going to keep pushing tomorrow and I think uh, as we've seen today anything can happen well, anything certainly can happen. Well, what do you think Miko can take back in terms of points now? He's your focus, surely, in the driver's title. He's the only four driver that could possibly challenge. How far do you think he can creep up the leaderboard? I think a lot of that really depends on uh, how he goes tomorrow. I think he's really, been, he's really suffered today, this afternoon, um, being the, the first car. But tomorrow, a lot will depend on his pace. Um, because, obviously, Yari's been going really quick. Um, and, of course, we've a lot of people in front of us so it's not going to be easy to okay I think it's possible to probably get one of the cars on the podium but whether we can find a way to uh, make sure that Miko gets there I don't know okay guys thank you very much good luck for the second day tomorrow David Richards Olivia Canal and Malcolm Wilson ladies and gentlemen <laughs> we'll have our top three drivers on the stage very shortly Danny Sordo, Peter Solberg and Sebastian Ogier
in the lead in the mini at the end of day one how are you feeling <laughs> you can imagine I feel really really well because uh, in Germany it was really good but uh, here we we don't thought to be really really close like that so I'm really happy and also really happy for the for the team because the the guys keep working so so hard for for the rally so it's good how has the car felt out on the stages today? We've seen you set very competitive times. Have you felt really good in the car? I feel really, really good. The, the car was the chassis. It's really, I know it's really easy to drive and it's, it gives me a lot of confidence and uh, like that I can push him really hard. Now, question is, can you hold on to your lead against Petter Solberg and Sebastian Ogier? Could we see a Danny Sordo win? I don't know. Today was really close, really fun. I think the uh, Oje maybe is in a position is is, is hard for him, but uh, Peter he want to to win, like me, like everybody. But uh, of course I I will try tomorrow. En français, s'il vous plaît. Ouais. Bon, c'était c'était une super belle journée pour pour moi, pour l'équipe. Euh, après, c'est la deuxième course en asphalte pour la voiture et on n'a fait pas beaucoup d'essais, mais la voiture il, il marche super bien, je me sens super bien hein, ici dans le spécial de, de France et bon, je vais essayer de, de me battre pour la victoire. Et, il y a beaucoup de, beaucoup de supporters et ça fait, ça fait plaisir de voir tout le monde dans la spéciale. Ok, Danny, thank you very much. Let's turn to Petter Solberg now then. <laughs> Peter, we've seen you very much back on pace here. You seem to be feeling very good in the car. What's changed? Has anything changed at all? You seem to be feeling really good. No, I must say the the car, the Citroen, have been working uh, very good. Uh, I have a good feeling with it. Uh, very good balance, and uh, it's uh, it's some changes with the car from the last rallies, and it makes. Uh, it's maybe small things, but it makes big differences uh, on time, and I'm very, very pleased uh, with my car and, and the rhythm today. So, but also the Sordo, very good uh, drive, and uh, so I, uh, you know, very nice, very nice to see. Petter, very nice that you say that, but you want to get Danny Sordo's position tomorrow. I can imagine it's going to be flat out from you. Yeah, but we can still be friends even if we compete uh, together, you know, so. But uh, yeah, I, I want to drive fast uh, and push very hard, and I think uh, I'm very very happy with my performance. So uh, I think uh, Ogier has to uh, really go for a big attack tomorrow. So I think uh, we have to watch him uh, very much. So, so uh, but we will try hard, and and the stages tomorrow are very nice. So, uh, so I liked him a lot. Just a remote service tomorrow, though, and we've got a long day, 148 kilometers. Does it make you any more cautious on the opening stages, knowing that you've only got a 15-minute service with the parts you can carry? Uh, as long as it's not too ma much gravel like it is today. I had too many punctures in Germany, so I, uh, <laughs> I try to be a little bit more careful there. But uh, I don't think it's any problem. The car is, uh, I've been fantastic and no, uh, no problem, so... Hopefully just be uh, cruising day and have fun and enjoy and uh, and do some show for the spectators and hope they will be happy tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Petter, thank you very much. Let's turn to Sebastian Ogier now in third position. It's so, so close out there, Sebastian. Only 2.8 seconds separate you from the lead. Question is, how is your car? Because on the final two stages, you were really concerned that you may have an engine problem. Is that the case? The team checked everything and the car is working well, so maybe we were a bit too much cautious today because of uh, the road condition. We saw, uh, we saw our teammates uh, stop this morning, so it was a bad news for, for everybody, for the team. So uh, after that, we have to, to hold on and to try to keep good points for the team. So um, at the end of the day, it's not so bad. We are very close, and uh, as Peter said, I'm happy for, for Danny and for Mini to, to be here tonight. I think uh, it's a good to see another good car competitive in the championship. 
Yeah, you're certainly right. It is good to see the Mini on top. But of course, you would love to take a win from what is your home event. How much are you going to be pushing and risking to try and catch these guys tomorrow? Yeah, for sure I will try, but uh, I need to, to score points for the championship also, for, for the team. Now uh, that's the on only one possibility. But uh, I'm confident because tomorrow it's different stages and uh, I, I like much more the stage of tomorrow. It will be more clean for sure on the road. And uh, today I know that I lost time when it was tricky and dirty because uh, yeah, I didn't want to take risk in this condition. So I'm confident for tomorrow. You mentioned getting points for the team. You didn't really mention getting points for yourself. Olivier Canal said the focus is Sebastian Lowe for the driver's title. So have you totally ruled yourself out of that now? Yeah, it can be an opportunity to come back in the championship, but uh, for the moment, I don't want to think about that. Still uh, a lot of kilometers to do, a lot of stages to do, so uh, we have to do the job first. Okay, en français, s'il vous plaît. Oui, bah, ça, a été, euh, ça a été une journée euh, difficile pour nous. C'est sûr que dès qu'on a vu euh, Seb arrêter ce matin, c'était pas une bonne nouvelle pour personne. On était vraiment désolé pour lui. Après ça, il a fallu euh, continuer, il a fallu euh, assumer... Euh, le fait qu'il fallait marquer des points pour l'équipe et euh, c'est vrai que ça n'a pas été facile. On est tombé un petit peu dans un mode cet après-midi où on a suré peut-être un peu trop. On n'avait pas envie de faire une erreur dans des conditions un peu sales, un peu piégeuses. Mais bon, on est confiant pour, tout, pour demain. Euh, la, voiture, euh, la voiture marche bien. C'est vrai que j'ai un petit peu eu des doutes cet après-midi, mais l'équipe euh, m'a confirmé que tout allait bien. Donc euh, on est confiant pour demain. Les spéciales nous plaisent plus et on va tout faire pour essayer de reprendre la, la tête. Ok, Sébastien, thank you. One more question to Danny Sordo. One last question. We've seen you in this middle seat with the Citroen World Rally team. How does it feel to be leading for a brand new team in the championship? Yeah, always is, w when you are leading, it's always really nice, no? But uh, in the special with Citroen was really good because the car was brilliant in tarmac and it's still brilliant in tarmac. And, but with, uh, with Mini, it was, was a special because uh, we don't do a lot a lot kilometers at the moment and we don't do, a, uh, the, the, the team is quite, uh, quite young, so. I, I'm really happy for me, but also really happy for, for these guys. En français. Oui, ça fait plaisir de, de tout le temps euh, avec la Citroën. On, est, on a fait quelques rallyes devant. Et maintenant, avec une nouvelle équipe, ça fait toujours plaisir. En fait, cette équipe, c'est un peu plus petit que Citroën, donc c'est un peu meilleur. Mais, mais bon, il faut, faut continuer comme ça et de, de rester en tête jusqu'à jusqu dimanche. Okay, good luck for the second day. Danny Sordo, Sebastian Auger, Petter Solberg, ladies and gentlemen.
Kuoppaan se täys yli nypyn. Jatkuva se täys miinus yli nypyn sisältä. Kahdeksan oikein eri kivi sisällä. 150 soralle. Kivet loppuu. Vasen loima tiukka sisältä suppuun. 100. Lyhyt vasen täys sisältä. Käännä. Kahdeksan. Pitkä vasen täys miinus. Kirraa vähän käännä. Kuusi. Vasen täys. Jatkuu lyhyt vasen täys. 100. Lyhyt vasen täys miinus sisältä. Käännä. 200. Lyhyt vasen. Koo. Heti oikein eri menee. Huomio, huomio, 130. Oikein tosi hidas kivi sisällä. Pidä kaksi. Vasen serpo tiukka sisältä. Neljä. Lyhyt oikein täys. Neljä. Vasen loiva sisältä. Ja oikein täys. 200. Lyhyt vasen koo tiukka ja tarkka. Huomio, huomio, 100. Oikein tosi hidas menee. Heti vasen hidas tolppa. Pidä. Oikein hidas tiukka, kivi sisällä, jarru neljä, lyhyt oikein, tosi hidas risteys, kivi sisällä, vähän tilaa. Heti nyt vasen laita, liukas jarru kuus, vasen hidas risteys, takaviisto, kivi sisällä, soraa. Kaheksan. Oikein tosi hidas, kivi sisällä, kaksi. Vasen serpo tiukka, kirraa, kivi sisällä, kolme. Lyhyt oikein, vasen hidas sisältä, aukee, soraa. Jatkuu vasen loiva, jarru neljä, oikein nopein tiukka kirraa vähän kivi sisällä. Ja vasen koo kirraa tolppa, heti oikein nopein tiukka yli nyppy kivi sisällä, tolppa. 130, huomio huomio varo, oikein koo kivi sisällä, tolppa, jarru. Pitkä vasen tosi hidas yli nyppy, tolppa, paljon soraa lopussa. Ja oikein koo aukee, ja nyppy vasen laita. Oikein koo aukee, nyppy vasen laita, tolppa, kuusi, oikein nopein tiukka kirraa, tolppa. Kolme, vasen tosi hidas menee, tolppa. Kaheksan. Lyhyt vasen koo mene. Heti lyhyt oikee eri. Aukee kivi sisällä. Kuus. Vasen koo kivi sisällä. Heti oikee eri aukee. Huomio huomio. Kuus. Vasen eri kirraa vähän. Jarru kaksi oikee nopein kivi sisällä. Suppuun. Ja oikee loiva kirra kooks. Kuus. Oikee täys miinus. Jarru viis. Vasen nopee tiukka kirraa vähän. Kivi sisällä tolppa. Kaheksan. Oikee hidas kirraa vähän. Kivi sisällä. Heti. Vasen koo, kuus, huomio, huomio, vasen jarru, oikein tosi hidas menee, kivi sisällä. Ja vasen nopea kirraa vähän, jarru, oikein tosi hidas kivi sisällä. Vasen loima, ja oikein täys. Lyhyt vasen täys, kuus. Lyhyt vasen täys, minus jarru, viis. Vasen jarru, oikein nopea tiukka, kivi sisällä, suppuu tolppa. Viis, oikein nopea kivi sisällä, heti vasen koo sisältä. Aukee vähän, viis. Vasen eri kirraa vähän aja ahdas, kivi ulkona. 210, pikku nyppy, jarru viis, vasen eri tiukka, kirraa vähän tolppa. Heti oikein nopea kivi sisällä, ja vasen nopea sumppuu kivi ulkona. Tolppa, jatkuu, vasen jarru, tolppa, oikein hidas menee kivi sisällä. Kuu, huomio, huomio, kuus, vasen hidas, hidas takaviisto, kivi sisällä. 150. Hae, oikein hidas tiukka, kivi sisällä, sumppuun vähän soraa. Kuus. Hae oikein nopee, kivi sisällä pidä, ja vasen hidas sisältä aukee yli nypyn urat. Jatkuu, lyhyt vasen täys, sata. Vasen loiva kirraa, tolppa, jarru kaks, oikein hidas. Heti vasen täys, miinus, sata, oikein hidas, kivi sisällä, vähän soraa. Jatkuu, oikein nopee, tiukka, 130. Vasen nopee sisältä, kirraa vähän, pidä. Ja oikein koo, kirra vähän, tolppa, sata. Huomio, huomio, vasen nopee, kirra pahasti. Kivi sisällä, neljä. Ja lyhyt vasen täys, miinus, viis. Vasen täys yli, nyt kesken, jatkuu nyt oikein laita täys, kolme. Lyhyt vasen eri mene sisältä, 150. Oikein täys, sata, yli nyt sata. Vasen eri mene sisältä, aja vähän kohteen. Kuus, vasen täys, miinus, vähän kohteen, aukee okay, vähän. Sata, huomio, huomio, vasen täys. Vähän koskee jarru sata, vasen oikein, vasen tosi hidas shikaani. 150. Vasen täys miinus yli, nyt pystyy sisältä 200. Huomio, huomio. Vasen oikee täys kirraa, jarru kaheksan. Oikee tosi hidas menee, aukee tolppa. Jatkuu. Oikee nopee tiukka kirraa vähän.
long opens, 20. Six left minus half long, right just open up. Six right minus right, five plus half long, and five left plus long. And opens long, keep it. Five right tight, three plus half long. And four left minus half long, opens half long, tight a little long, keep it. The early six right half long, opens 50. Two right minus tight to one half long. 20, six right half long, opens extra long, keep it. Four left minus tight, two minus tight to one. Tight half long. Opens, 20, line into, 6 left over crest, opens half long, keep very end over crest, 30 line, 6 right long, tight a little, opens, 50, crest into slide right, and 6 left half long, tight to keep in, slide right, 30, 6 left over crest, tight a little, opens, 50 line, 6 left, extra, extra long, to crest, opens, long, to crest, opens long, 80, 6 left over crest, tight a little, opens half long, 80, slide right and line, 6 left long, tight, minus, don't cut, and 6 right half long, tight a little, 60, 6 left plus, keep it, 3 right plus, tight, 1 plus half long, and 2 left plus half long, tight, 1 plus half long, tight, opens, 6 right plus, and 6 left minus over crest, tight a little, 6 right plus half long, 100, 6 left minus tights, 8, 5 plus 50, 5 right plus tights, 4 minus tights, 3, tights, 4 left minus tights, 2, half long, 4 right minus tights, 3, opens long, tights, 2 minus tights, 1, over crest, 6 left minus over crest, 6 right, keep in over crest, turn tight, open left, don't cut, double tights, and slide right, 40, keep left over crest, 2 right minus tights, 1, tights, 20, lane short, gravel, hairpin left, double tight, stone cut, and 2 right minus, tight. 4 left plus over crest, opens half long, keep in, and 5 right plus, extra long, tight, 4, keep in, and 6 left minus, half long, tight, cut, and 4 right over crest, tight, half long, opens, 30, slight left, and slow, gravel, 6 right minus, tight, stone cut, caution, gravel, 5 left minus, tight, 2 minus over crest, half long, tight, long, 6 right minus, half long, tight, a little, Opens to keep a left over press, six right minus tights, five half long tights, three plus. And line, four left minus half long tights, two minus tights. Open 60, six left minus half long tights, don't cut. Six right half long, keep in 30, don't cut, six left tights. Neat, keep in, and six right minus half long, and line, six left long tights. Keep very in, the five right plus, tight a little, six left. And line, six right minus long tights, in the slight left, and the six right half long, 30. 6 left minus tight, 5 tight a little, and line, 6 right minus long, tight 4 minus tight 3, 4 left plus half long, opens long, keep it, cut, keep it over press, in the 2 right half long, tight 1 plus, in the 8, 6 left half long, tightens a little, and 2 right minus half long, tight 1 plus, tight a little, 6 left half long, 6 right plus, and 6 left, opens, extra long, the press long, and tightens, narrows, keep it, 5 right minus tight, 4 minus tight, 6 left minus 6 right minus tight a little and 5 left plus, opens extra long, over crest and tight, half long, tight a little, 50, slight right, slight left, opens 100, line 6 left, extra long, tight, neat, keep very in, and 6 right, and 5 left, minus tight, neat, 6 right, minus, and, no, 80, 6 left minus 5 right plus half long, tight a little, it's 40 here but left, double tight, 20, Slight left and lead six right minus half long tights, four minus half long tights. In the six left and line six right minus half long tights, five plus tights, keep it. And lead gravel, five left plus tights, keep it over crest, opens, over crest, half long, 80. Six left plus half long tights, a little keep in, and five right plus tights, four. And six left minus opens, 80. Five right plus tights, four minus gravel, tights, three. Opens, long, tight a little, into slight left, into slight right, and in six left minus tightens, narrows, half long, and six right long, tight a little, opens, 30, slight right and line, six left, tight, five plus long, tight, four minus tights, opens, extra, extra long, depressed, opens, 20, keep right over crest, six left minus half long, tightens, cut, neat, keep left over 100, press into slight right over crest, 120, flat, six left long, tights, neat, Opens, extra long, 60, slight left over press, 120, chicane, 4 left minus tights, 1 right minus, 1 left, 80, 
line. Six left plus long, tight a little, opens 120. Six left plus in the six right plus opens 60. Six right minus tightens, four minus tightens. Half long, opens extra long, tight a little, opens 80. Slight right and six left plus long, tightens, keep in over crest, six right plus tightens, needs five plus. And needs six left, minus over crest, half long, tightens, needs six right, opens long, keep it in the cup, slight left, six right plus. And six left, half long, tightens, needs long, early six right plus, 100. Early flat, six left plus, slight right, opens over 150 on the scene, four right minus tightens, two. And mud, four left, tightens, one plus. Into five right plus half long opens half long keep it and six left half long tight split left forty six left plus opens extra long keep it and line six right long tight big cut and deep seventy six left minus tight five minus long tight line six right long tight five plus half long tight and line six left half long the crest opens long forty five left plus tight four minus half long tight three plus. And eight, five right plus half long, tight a little, opens, extra long, 120. Six right plus 100. Six left long, tight a little. Line to turn, short to right, 30, don't cut gap in left, 20, short 3 right, in flat 6 left minus, half long, 50, 3 right plus, to knee don't cut 5 left plus, to 4 right, 120, oops, short 6 right, 30 crest in 3 left minus, half long, gravel, 30, don't cut flat short, 5 right, 63 right, tightens, 40, short 3 left minus, 80, flat short 6 left minus, 2 flat 6 right, 100, knee 6 left minus, 2 flat 6 right, to turn, left over 80, 2 6 left, 2 short 5 right, in 6 left, in 6 right minus, half long tightens, 50, 6 right, 70, short 4 left plus, 60, 3 right, in flat 5 left, 50, 6 left minus, 30, 2 right plus, in 6 left minus, 40, 2 right plus, 2 flat 6 left, in flat 6 right, 50, flat 6 left plus, 70, 6 left, 50, need 6 left minus to 4 right, in 6 left to 4 right plus, to flat 6 left minus, 50, flat 6 left minus, go 250, need 6 left minus, tightens, 50, 5 right plus, to 4 left plus, in 6 right, in 6 left, to 4 right minus, 70, here been left, 100 
Line to three, right minus, half long. 15. Six right over 50, tighten short, five. 30, three left plus. Opens flat six, 150. Short six left to short three right. In flat six left, 150, three right. Opens four half long and tightens. 120, line to short four left plus. 40, flat five right plus. 120, four left plus half long, tightens. 40, flat short six left. 50, flat to a long press, 50, flat short 6 left minus, 150, flat 6 right plus, 150, short 6 left minus, opens long, 120, short 6 left plus, 120, chicane, enter right side, 1 left in 1 right, in 2 left, 150, flat 6 left, go 400, Three right. Opens four half long and tightens. 150. Need six left minus over crest. So don't cut four right minus. Tightens. In grabber flat five left. In flat six right long. 60. Six right to five left plus. 150, flat short 6 left, 200.